Nirmala Sitaraman uh, earlier in uh, earlier this year in her budget speech proposed an amended definition of the term small company. Uh, the thresholds for defining what is a small company have now been amended and are pegged at a company that has either a paid up capital of two crore Indian rupees or a turnover of 20 crore Indian rupees. The thresholds earlier uh, were 50 lakhs of paid up capital or two crores of turnover. Uh, this has been the change that has been proposed by the uh, finance minister and these changes are likely to come into effect from April 1, 2021. Uh, so the impact of this definitional change uh, is as follows. One, uh, the number of companies that would be classified as small companies uh, grows exponentially. The government has estimated that around 200,000 companies would now fall within the ambit of the term small companies. So what benefits uh, will these 200,000 companies now be uh, able to avail of? Uh, nothing really changes in terms of the benefits uh, that are extended to a small company. Under the Companies Act, there were three primary benefits that were available to small companies. These will now become available to a larger pool of companies. Uh, the first one was that uh, in the context of the definition of a financial statement of a small company, uh, a small company need not include its cash flow statement within uh, what are known as financial statements. Uh, the second one is that an annual return, uh, which has to be filed by a small, uh, small company, can be filed either by a company secretary or where a, co a company does not have a company secretary. Uh, it can be filed by a director. Effectively, it's almost as if it is a, a self-certification of the annual return, uh, which is a benefit that's not available to other uh, private limited companies. And the third benefit uh, that is available to small companies is that uh, they're only required to conduct two board meetings in uh, a financial year, one in each half of the year. Uh, undoubtedly, each of these three uh, 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 relaxations uh, definitely eases uh, doing business for small companies. How much uh, of a benefit it is for them in terms of uh, you know, time saved from compliance, ease of doing business is something that is uh, very difficult to measure at this particular point in time. Perhaps there has to be a yardstick uh, to determine the tangible benefits that may have flown uh, towards these 200 companies on account of this definitional change. And the government should be uh, instituting measures to possibly track uh, whether these benefits have actually actually reached the intended target audience.